Jonathan Golub, Chief U.S. Equity Strategist at Credit Suisse, and Tom Lee, also here, co-founder and head of research at Fundstrat Global Advisors. So, Jonathan, we've seen a pretty nice turnaround here for the overall markets. S&P back to the flat line, going maybe for eight days in a row. Up, there we go, just positive now. I mean, what's, what's fueling this momentum on the upside? You know, it's interesting. If you, if you look at the market all year long, it's not because the economy is coming in stronger. It's the fact that the risks seem to be actually waning. So the Fed is, um, is basically, it appears like they're done for the cycle. Recession risks are down. I think the surprise is that the, this discussion of earnings recession is going to be off the table once we get into earnings season, and we're going to end up having a positive overall growth Why? rate. Why, because earnings are going to be better or because guidance is going to be better? Um, probably, yes. I mean, first both? of all, both. I mean, the economy, if you look at the most recent ISM, is coming uh, pretty good, and that tends to signal upside. But also oil prices being up tends to be a pretty good signal and is important to the energy sector. And, Jonathan, your year-end target is 3025. Tom, it's not often that you're... you're you're coming in as the bear between the two guests on. <laughs> oh, I, I wore the wrong suit. I should yeah. wear my bear suit. Yeah, no, but what's your, your, your bullish on equities as well? I'm not quite yeah. as bullish by year end. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I think that we'd be a lot more bullish if the curve wasn't inverted. So I think that that's the only thing that we need to figure out. But I think the, the tape's acting like most people are either on the sidelines with cash or short, and, and that's why we have shallow pullbacks. Uh, so the yield curve is something that you're worried about, but you're not quite sure why you're worried about it. Is that fair? Uh, yeah, because uh, the curve actually has three term structures. It's flat in the front end, and then it's inverted in the belly, and then it's normalized in the long end. So it's not really an inverted curve. It's just that there's... It could be telling us that the Fed's got to be cutting rates, or it could tell us there's a speed bump, or it could just be doing this because of Brexit in China. So I think once that normalizes, uh, I think, I agree with Jonathan, I think PE's the big story, and I think we could easily be 3,100. But I think for now, it's, uh, we still just have to see the curve resolve itself. You know